another beautiful day in Blue Ridge, and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make some artwork, copper artwork. You see, I've had this idea for a while, I just wanted to get it out. The best way to get an idea about a piece of artwork out of your head is to go ahead and make the project. Just do the project. That's all you got to do. Gets it right out. You see, a long time ago, I made this fountain. had these copper pieces all over it. Well, the fountain didn't turn out, but I still got these copper pieces. So I'm always thinking, what can I do with all this copper? All right, let's go around the side of the barn here and check out the scrap pile. I'm looking for some pieces of wire. So here's the weird thing about the art process and the way my mind works. Quite often, it's really hard for me to get a project going. I'm not that excited about it. I'll look at the hurdles. Eh, I don't really want to do that. But once I start seeing it come together, then I get really excited. And then I'll work all night on it. It's just that getting the spark going, sort of jump starting, just getting off my ass and doing it. So what I've been doing is laying these copper pieces out on the floor and trying to find some sort of pattern or assemblage that's pleasing to the eye. I'm thinking this will look good hanging on the side of the barn. So now we're going to cut some metal for the base, and you know what that means. It's plasma cutter time. Highly flammable. The steel. Since the background piece is going to be painted black, I really didn't want to go for one of my really nice, choice, rusty pieces out in the woods. I like to use those for things where the rust is going to show. <laughs> what is it with the wires? Every time. Compressed air, crazy electricity. 220 on the money. Okay, I'm ready to cut my background piece, but I have to know what shape my copper square is going to be in. I kind of like the squares I laid out on the floor, so I have to get my cell phone and take a picture of those so I don't forget how I laid them out. So remember the bottom of that old fountain? It's getting ready to meet the plasma cutter once again. It's hammer time. All right, very serendipitous. This will be the back of the project, which I was gonna paint black, but this is cool, the rust will work. Just gotta smooth off the edges. That is sharp. All right, so I turned the camera off a minute ago because this wasn't going well, clouding up. I was getting grumpy, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, the, the project's going well. I've completely changed the idea of my head, but that is how art works. So here's the back of my piece here, this piece of steel that you saw me cut outside. This is one of the flame-treated copper pieces going on the front of it. And this little guy right here, one of the supports I've TIG welded on rather haphazardly, and we'll attach this too. And then this will go outside, catch the sun, the rain, and whatever else. So you really didn't miss much. See that curve gives it kind of a, a body to it. Scientifically measured, too tall. We have a match. That right there is what you call heat cleaning a piece of copper. You see a lot of copper comes with a protective plastic coating to keep it shiny and it peels off but it always leaves a residue so I just go ahead and burn the whole thing off. See the color come back? Bueno. So I'm hand sanding this to put striations in it so it will refract light better once I heat treat it for a second time. And that sucker right now is really hot, so what I've got to do is wait for it to cool down a little bit. Then I can pick it up with tongs and it won't warp, and I can walk it over the bird bath. I throw it in the water. Then those colors are frozen in the metal. Keep in mind, now, this is copper, so it's going to tarnish over time. So this is a work in transition. It will be a fluid work. But hey, just call me up and I'll come over with my blowtorch. Okay, so now i got two of the squares on there. I'm going to have to mount this one. i got one more square to go. When I originally started this project, I had like a designs of maybe like 50 squares on this piece of copper, but... Then I told myself, you know what? I'm not doing that today. That's going to be too much work. Besides, contemporary, three squares of copper on one square of steel, it can be art. And don't forget rule number one of the art world. If your parents like it, it's probably crap. Back over here to the Dayton roller. I know I'm going fast. It's weird. It's like when I drag my heels all day because I was like, I really don't want to do this. And I don't know why I started doing it because I can do anything I want. But I've learned to work with my ADD. Push through and you'll probably get a good result. Isn't that cool? A nice sessile curve to it. Woo. See, I'm not being super anal here because I actually want this to have some texture. Okay, so here's the last piece going on. What I've done is I've taken a, sp a spinning emery wheel and I've gone and done these, this in quarters. So every time I turn it, I get this pattern. You can see it developing in the copper. Now, I'm going to run through the Dayton roller one more time to smooth out where I barf this up with the needle nose pliers 
And then we're gonna heat treat it one more time and get that cool iridescent patina look. Okay, now I'm gonna flame treat this piece of copper with some map gas. And then we're gonna put all three pieces on the back and call it done. All right, that looks pretty darn good. So I didn't totally bake it this time. Yes, that's hot, Kel. Four inches in. Gotta get the rust off so I can weld it. I will. The moving around so while it's still crazy hot. Okay, so all three of these, that was hot. All three of these welded on here. And now I got to do is use this industrial strength adhesive to put my, my pieces on. Strong stuff. Man, I am having a time. This camera was on manual focus all day yesterday, so a lot of the images of me are out of focus. That is tragic. And you know that I always want to appear in focus to you. My apologies, you're working with an amateur. Here's the hook that goes on the back. I can't TIG weld it though because that takes two hands, so I'm gonna have to use a MIG welder. All right, let's go hang it up. See, now I can't decide where to hang this on the barn, right there by the peace sign. All right. So there you go. Metal artwork, copper and steel. Contemporary, maybe somewhat Southwestern, ready to go. Anyway, Blue Ridge, out. I tell you, went home last night and I thought to myself, I don't like it. Came back this morning, I like it.